So I'm Joseph Carpenter. I am the faculty advisor for the CAMS Monterra uh, racing team. I'm excited to bring you um, these students and their work this year for the Vital Link Energy Efficiency Race. Hi, my name is Isaac, I'm part of the MEC team. Hi, I'm Elijah and I'm part of the MEC team. Hi, I'm Edgar, I'm part of the MEC team. Hi, I'm Ramon and I'm also part of the MEC team. I'm David Luna and I'm part of Pit Crew. Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of, I'm crew chief. Hi, I'm Naomi, I'm media manager. Hi, I'm Kyla and I'm part of the electrical team. Hi, I'm Shayna and I'm driver. Hi, I'm Chloe and I'm the Monteras manager. Starting off with the front of our car, which is a mixture of aluminum and fiberglass. On the right side of our wheel, we have our silver power button to communicate to our battery. And the current cycle analyst will be swapped with the requested approved cycle analyst. Then we have a horn slash insane mode button and keyhole. The brakes for the vehicle are two caliper brakes on the front wheels of the car. Both brakes are operated by one brake lever attached to the steering wheel. Our wiring system goes throughout the car. The wires are connected with the motor, batteries, key ignition, cycle analyst, power button, and cooling system. The wires are also connected to fuses and blanks to increase safety of overheating. For easy access to locate the wires in neatness, we zip tied them together to the car walls. In order to power the car, there are 12 volt batteries for a 24 volt series at the back of the car. The car uses a lithium iron phosphate battery at 10 pounds per battery instead of 20 pounds per battery. We will gain 20 more pounds to the overall weight of the car and the driver. We 3D printed a plate and implemented an aluminum bracket to keep the batteries in place. The motor has a cooling system that is powered by the button on the right side of the seat. The cycle analyst measures the speed and battery information which is connected to the battery. Connected to the gear chain is an F24 axle. This steel axle is 25.4 millimeters in diameter and turned at 20 millimeters at either end to hold the rear wheel hubs, but only attached directly to the left rear wheel while the right free spins, allowing the car to take steep turns without the need for a differential. The vehicle is running with 20 inch mountain bike wheels, but will be replaced with thinner, greater pressurized wheels to decrease wear and improve performance. Here we have a five point harness for increased safety of the driver and our fireproof helmet. If complications occur where the motor catches on fire, the driver would be prepared to put it out with a handy fire extinguisher attached to the back part of the seat. We also have implemented safety bars to the car for the safety of our driver. To give the vehicle better acceleration and more power, we use a one to four gear ratio. This means that forward rotation of the motor will become one rotation of the shaft driving the vehicle. This will provide more torque for the vehicle. To provide more efficiency to the motor, we have a cooling system attached to the motor. The cooling system prevents overheating the motor and puts the engine at an operating temperature that will work more efficiently. And lastly, here we have the side of the car and we have a mirror on the side to increase driver awareness. And then we have hand screws for the back so we have easy access to our main electrical. Thank you.